Right then, hello and welcome to Sports Car GT. I know a number of you want me to do a series on this game, and that's exactly what we're going to do. First off, though, before we get into anything, is going to change some of the options. Um, I'm going to change the sound effects and the uh, the music volume because the music is a little bit too loud uh, to start with, and we're going to have car damage is on as always. Chase arrow is not going to bother with default view. Gonna have it as chase one. Um, I will go through the views uh, eventually, but that is exactly what we're gonna do to start with. And uh, yeah, you have two modes uh, to begin with. You have season or arcade. Arcade is basically the free race mode. Uh, select any of the tracks and the cars that you have available and uh, do a, a little spot race pretty much. But we're gonna do a season and you are given four classes. You have the GTQ, which is a qualifying class. You have GT3, two and one. Uh, but when you complete all four of these classes, you're given a little bonus, but we'll get into that the closer we get to it. Uh, so the only one that we can select at the moment is the GTQ. And uh, this has a little bit of a, a, an element of simulation to it as well. Uh, you haven't got any cars to start with. You have to go and buy one, uh, which is what we're going to do. We're given $50,000 to start with. And you can select between the BMW M3 the Sport Touring, car number 11 or 17, the Panos Esperante, uh, which we can't afford at the moment because it's 90 grand, uh, the Porsche 911, 23 or number 20, again, we can't afford it, we're 15 grand short, the Celine S281, uh, which, from my personal experience, isn't the best, it is actually pretty slow, and you do get a lot of uh, uh, sliding with it as well, the, the, the grip isn't great, uh, so, to start with, we're going to go with uh, the BMW M3, and I'm going to go with car number 11. Why not? Uh, so we have 10 grand left, so we can actually go to the modifications, add a few uh, mods to it. Uh, now, the thing is with the uh, the game itself is that if you try to upgrade the gearbox, aero kit, or tires, it can upgrade the car to GT3 spec, which is not what we want at the moment. Uh, the only thing that we can really upgrade is the engine, exhaust, suspension, and brakes. That'll keep it in the uh, the GT qualification class. And uh, I think we're going to buy one engine upgrade. And uh, can we afford anything else at the moment? Uh, yes, we can. We can afford brakes. Brakes are essential for this game, uh, as you'll soon find out. So there we go. We have no money left. And uh, the first couple of races then is four races of three laps in the GTQ and the first off is Sebring International Short and the top three score money you don't get any points it's just purely money based you do get points as well obviously um, but yeah so here we go then Sebring Short and off we go you got three camera views as well you have the chase cam the close chase or the in-car, which doesn't really make much of a difference, to be honest. So we're going to stick with the outer chase. This is more of an arcade racer anyway. Oh, one thing you want to do is avoid the grass. Now, the thing is, turning the car damage on, um, it doesn't really have any uh, aero damage or uh, the uh, externals of the car. They don't get damaged. It's pretty much the engine uh, so if you bump into too many walls or uh, other AI drivers, you'll notice like a little puff of black smoke that'll pop out now and again. Uh, just say that your car is getting damaged, just be careful. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, it just slows the car down as well. It doesn't actually do anything to the uh, aerodynamics. So it's all cosmetic damage. Or uh, no cosmetic damage, sorry. It's all internals. Now, the first championship is pretty easy, um, at least to get a top two. Uh, passing the leader is uh, a little bit more difficult, but with the uh, the slight upgrades that you can get with the brakes and the engine, it is a lot more feasible. But you can see with the, the brakes, they don't really work. They are much there. It's just... Yeah, you have brakes, but just be careful with them, pretty much. At least the brake lights come on. So, there's one thing that did annoy me about this game as well, is that when any games that are ported 
for European and American audiences is uh, if you get a PAL release, a UK release, is that they don't really convert the speed... Oh, come on, get out of the way. They don't convert the speed from kilometers to miles, so we're stuck with kilometers an hour, which is a bit of a pain in the arse. So, uh, yeah, so we're going 220 kilometers an hour, not miles an hour at the moment. But with the slight engine upgrade, we can take some of these corners a little bit faster. But we're starting to get a few little puffs of, uh, oh, and again, brakes do not work. Come on, get going. Uh, yeah, the brakes don't work at all. We try some of the other camera views, I suppose. Let's try in-car view. But you can see as well that you don't get any damage at all on your car. So this is very, very, very much an arcade racer at heart. Just with a few, um, oh. Oh my word. Yeah, when the car gets a little bit twitchy, uh, yeah, it's hard to get it back, especially in this view, so we're going to stick on this one. But with third place to start with, that's not too bad, I suppose. Could be a lot worse. So you go then, top three then, BMW M3 Grand Touring, Celine SR, and of course my car, the BMW M3. So uh, not too bad. Five seconds off the pace, and the other car is coming across the line of Porsche 911s. And the final finishing position was way too far back, so I'm not even going to wait. And there you go then, that is the first race done. And you can see the, the little uh, puffs of black smoke come out of the back of the car as well. But it's nice that they give you a little replay, but unfortunately it's only the replay of the cooling down lap. Uh, you don't actually get a replay of the full race, which is a bit of a shame. But, oh well. Not to worry. So anyway, so we get three grand for that, which isn't too bad. We're not able to actually buy any uh, upgrades to the car because, uh, yeah, they're a bit way too expensive at the moment. So quickly put our name in, yada, 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 same old, same old. Done, and we'll go on to the next race then. I think this is, uh, yeah, Road Atlanta. So at least we've had a bit of practice on these tracks as well. We have Mossport coming up as well. And, uh, you know, for a fact that we've had a few races there on uh, GT Legends, which is great. And off we go. Now, the thing is as well is that these tracks are actually pretty well modelled, to say the very least. They're very, very true to their uh, real-life counterparts as they were back in the 90s. This game, of course, came out in the uh, late 90s, so you wouldn't expect all the uh, the barriers or anything. And of course, this this track variation doesn't have the uh, the last chicane before you go over the uh, the bridge. Or under the bridge, I should say. Oh, no. Don't lose it. Come on. Keep it together. Come on, give me a nudge. No, unfortunately, you don't get a nudge from the AI. They just uh, slow you down a little bit more. And again, the brakes do not work. You put the brakes on and the car just refuses to slow down. So, has drag car physics. That's fine, no worries. Uh, pulling away from fourth place. And see, no chicane. Just go straight into the last corner. You've got to be careful with this as well because you can get very loose and the car can catch air uh, if you're not careful. Actually catching up to second place though, so we might actually get a second out of this. Which would be good. Now this is uh, pretty much a touring sedans uh, category. But they call it the qualification class, of course. And we're actually gaining on a leader, which is pretty good. Uh, if we're actually able to get the lead, we'll get uh, five grand in the bank. Unfortunately, the car does get very loose if you uh, get around the corner without the uh, acceleration. Uh, 
Uh, picking up speed, 225 kilometers an hour. No, nope, gain up to 230. Can we get 240? No, nope, 239. There you go, getting a bit of air. It's fine. But we get a good run out of the final corner. Final lap at Road Atlanta. And we're gaining on the leader. Thing is, with these cars, you can take most of these corners flat out. So you don't have to worry about braking as much, apart from the really sharp corners. But again, the brakes really don't do much. So uh, I don't tend to brake, I just let off the throttle, coast the car around the corner. And uh, you're pretty much good to go for the rest of the race. Uh, we picked up about a three second lead. You can see, putting on the brakes, car does nothing. Oh, leader's right there. Or, not leader. I'm the leader. Second place. No, you don't. Stay back. Well, keep him behind us. We'll be fine for the last corner. Like so. Oh, keep it together. No. Oh. Stay back. Yay, there we go, our first victory then. Uh, you place first, yes we did. And uh, we get five grand for that as well. Uh, oh look, 351, 420. Yeah, blaze it. Uh, and then you get 351, 720, and 358, 20. So that's not too bad at all, to be honest. Everyone seems to be in the 20s in the times. So uh, there you go. And that is race two complete, two to go. And we're gonna get our prize winnings. And there we oh, it was seven grand. Sorry, I do apologize. I thought it was five grand. Nope, it's seven grand. So uh, a new track record as well. Top speed of 244 kilometers an hour. And uh, yeah, we'll go on to the next race then. Uh, but if you click on return to paddock, uh, you can go and buy more modifications. And that is what we're gonna do. We've got 10 grand. So what are we gonna get? Uh, should we get an exhaust? Yeah, why not? I don't think we can buy anything else though. Nah, unfortunately. Uh, so we're just going to the next race then at Mossport Park. Awesome. And again, with this track as well, we've had a bit of experience on other racing games or other sims. Uh, a little bit different. You can actually take some of the corners flat out. But uh, yeah, here we go then. Race three. And off we go. Oh, you want to avoid any contact, just try and keep the uh, the best of the top speed conditions of your car. Not like that, not going into anyone, so come on. It looks like the uh, top two having a bit of a tussle. Oh, no, no, keep it together, come on. Oh, here they come. Ah, you swines. Break, break, break. The brakes do nothing. There we go. Already caught up to third, or second, even. Nicely done. But, in re realistic terms, this game isn't the best, to be honest. I mean, there's a lot that could have been improved. But, I mean, it's still a fun arcade-style racer. And uh, that's the main thing, really. As long as you get a bit of fun out of it, that's all that matters. Notice as well, the pits were closed off. So, uh, no pit stops on these races. Now, the lap counter does increase with the championships you go into. So, there's only three laps for the qualification class uh, and I think for the GT1s it goes up to 20 laps uh, for Sebring so they are quite long races little endurance races but um, yeah th this game doesn't really have a huge variety of content but oh sorry oh yeah and that happens as well 
phantom cars just uh, going willy nilly. And rubber banding is also a thing on this one as well. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the PC version of this, but from uh, talking to Rick uh, about the PC version, is that, um, yeah, it's not great. At all. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, the PC version wasn't the best port over from PlayStation. Uh, you do get more cars on the grid rather than just the regular six. Oh, and again, car losing it. No, come on. No, get back on the circuit. There you go. Uh, chances of victory now, uh, slim to none. Ah, we've messed up. Oh, well. Yeah, the car just gets very loose, and uh, of course with the D-pad, trying to get the car back into the straight and narrow is a bit difficult. And again, braking 10 years before the corner, the car might slow down, or uh, you might go off into the gravel. Strangely enough, we did actually catch up to the leader for a second there. Third place, nowhere to be seen. But uh, this should be, uh, this time it should be five grand in the bank for second place. And there we go, race three complete. Hooray. So not too bad, second place, I'll take it. Yeah, the panels gets a victory though, so that is all well and good. And we get a nice little replay shot of our car as well, which is always nice. So uh, let's collect our five grand. I think that might just give us enough to get another upgrade. Oh, six grand on that one. Okay, so it changes every single time. I never actually noticed that before. Uh, so yeah, next race then. And we're at Desert Speedway, but first we have... Uh, some possible modifications we can get. So we have the suspension. Can we get anything with the... Uh, yeah, we can get another exhaust. Uh, what about engine? No, I don't want to remove. No, nope. go to that one. Uh, 10 grand, 500 pounds short or dollar short. Uh, we'll get another exhaust. Why not? Awesome. Right, let's get on then with race number four, the final race. And uh, I didn't even check the uh, the dollar winnings for this race as well, so... Oh well, we'll see at the end. Here we go then, three laps around the speedway. Ready, and go. And this time, try to avoid the uh, other cars as much as possible. I'll tell you what though, for, for a game this old, the graphics are, actually look really good. You got the glare from the uh, the lights around the circuit, and from the headlights as well. It does look very, very good. Break, 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 break. Cool. Let's see if we can catch up to the leader. Let's see if we can get another victory, which would be awesome. Now the thing is with this game as well is that you have to do a little bit of grinding uh, to get some of the, the higher end cars in the higher classes, say the GT3 or GT2. Oh, no, get off the wall. Uh, yeah, you do have to do a bit of grinding, so you're going to have to go through some of the uh, smaller classes, win some races, get some money behind you, and then you're able to afford some of the, uh, the higher powered cars. But uh, I'll be doing that off-screen anyway, so I don't bore you with the, all the uh, the grinding to do. Uh, Nisha Kane, you can take it flat out. AI, you don't, so you can make up a lot of time. Before the sharp hairpin. Break about 10 years before the corner, and again, car doesn't want to slow down at all.
Yeah, bricks are more of a uh, aesthetic rather than a uh, necessity. As you've come to notice on this game. Come on. And again, the car don't want to slow down. Losing a bit of time to the front end. So I can go through the chicane nice and quick. Didn't make up as much time as we did on the previous lap, but then we have got a bit of damage. You can see from the uh, black smoke popping out the back. And again, car doesn't want to slow down. Oh, just about got it done. And this is the final lap as well, so I don't think we're going to be able to catch the uh, the other beamer up ahead, but, oh well, second place is better than nothing. Nah, just shy. Yeah, look at the acceleration that he has. Oh well, not to worry, second place, that's still uh, a nice finishing position. So that's not too bad at all. I'll take it. And you get another lovely little replay. Awesome. Definitely not on Gran Turismo standards by any stretch. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Seven grand in the bank. Thank you very much. And a new track record to boot. And a season summary then. So congratulations, you are now qualified to race in the next class. Awesome. So there we go then. We have the GT3s, but like I said, um... We can't really afford... Uh, oh, we can actually use the car that we uh, have uh, to begin with. But, um, yeah, we haven't got any money to actually buy any of the newer class cars. So you've got the Porsche 911s, uh, the Celines again, uh, the Vector. Mmm, $120,000. Or you got the BMW, which are 65. So we're going to have to do a bit of grinding. Um to uh, be able to afford the new cars and new class. But there we go, that was the GTQ. And uh, next time then we'll have the GT3, and then uh, we'll try our best on that one and see if we can get onto the GT2 and then a the GT1 class. So uh, yeah, this is Sports Car GT. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, the first episode of this series. It's not gonna be a long series. Uh, it'll be over fairly quickly. I would assume about five, six episodes-ish. Um, so yeah, I will leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I will see you next time then for the GT3 class. Thanks for watching, and take very good care.